Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry we're going to discuss radioactive decay and nuclear equations. So today's essential question, how are nuclear decay equations written? Um, I think you guys are going to enjoy do, um, writing nuclear equations. Um, they look really cool, really sciencey. Um, they look really difficult, and they're actually pretty easy. Alright, so some background information. Unstable nuclei and radiation. Um, and as we talked about in the last lecture, unstable nuclei release particles to become more stable. This is known as radiation. Okay, if you remember, unstable nuclei um, are the ones that are too crowded. There's either too many protons and neutrons or not enough neutrons. Everything is too crowded in there. So generally, isotopes that are much heavier, meaning contain more neutrons, or much lighter, containing fewer neutrons, than the most common isotopes are likely to be radioactive. Radioactive decay. When an atom emits or releases an alpha or a beta particle or gamma waves, it's going under what we call radioactive decay. When a nucleus is not stable, that's when it goes under radioactive decay. And the goal of radioactive decay is to change the nucleus to a more stable form. So it's releasing particles, these alphas, these betas, and these gammas, um, to make things less crowded, so that the nucleus can become more stable. So let's talk about nuclear equations. A nuclear equation is an equation that keeps track of a reaction's components. And in this case, the reaction we're talking about is radioactive decay. Um, we have two symbols that you need to know for every equation. Um, one that was not put on there is an arrow. An arrow means things like yields, produces, decays into and a plus sign, which when you're reading a word problem would mean and with, something like that. Okay. So here are the particles giving off, given off during radioactive decay. Um, the first three you should already be familiar with. We've got alpha, beta, and gamma. And alpha is symbolized by a 4, 2 with an alpha symbol or 4, 2 HE. They're interchangeable. There's beta, which is 0, negative 1 beta symbol or 0, negative 1 E and gamma, which is not really a particle, it's a ray, zero, zero, gamma symbol. Um, so the first three are our radioactive. Okay, and then there are two other particles that can also be given off, and though that's a proton, which is symbolizes one, one, H, and a neutron, which is one, zero, N. Okay, you need to know these in your head. Know them. Okay, the alpha, beta, gamma, proton, neutron. Okay, let's look at a few nuclear equations. So we have the, um, the first one we're going to talk about is the equation for the alpha decay of radium-226. So, we start with radium here, um, with a mass of 226, an atomic number of 88. Um, and that decays, decays, here's the arrow for decay, into radon and helium. All right, so that is the equation for the alpha decay of radium-226. You will be writing equations like this soon. All right, so first thing I'd like you to take note of is that the sums of the atomic masses are the same on both sides of the arrow. So we have 226. Think of the arrow as like an equal sign. 222 plus 4. So 226 equals 222 plus 4. Okay, so the sum of the masses are the same on both sides of the arrow. All right, let's try this. Um, make sure you have your periodic table handy and try to do this with me or even before me would be better. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to finish the following equation and determine the type of nu nuclear decay. All right, so let's start with the masses. We have 131 on this side of the equal sign and 131 on the other side. So what plus 131 equals 131? That would be a zero. Okay. Now let's look at the atomic numbers. We've got 53 and 54. So 54 plus what equals 53? How about negative one? Does that work? Now, do we know of a particle either on that list or on the periodic table that has a zero and a negative one? 
That would be your beta particle. Okay, so what kind of decay is this? What, what is iodine-131 releasing? It's, re the, its radioactive particle is a beta, so this is a beta decay. Okay, let's try another one. Write the equation for the alpha decay of uranium-238. All right, so the symbol for uranium is a U. We know the mass is 238 because it was given to us. And the atomic number is 92. So being this is an alpha decay, we know that uranium is going to decay into an alpha, which is 4, that is not a 4, 4, 2, H, E, and something else. So now we need to figure out the something else. So you have 238 here and 4. So that's it for the atomic masses. So 238 plus um, equals 4 plus what? 234. Okay, and if we look at the atomic numbers, we have 90. And so 2 plus something needs to equal 90. Ha, 92. How's that? I just gave you the answer. There you go. Okay, now we need to find this atom. This is not, there's nothing um, on our list of particles. This is not an alpha, a beta, a gamma, a neutron, or a proton. So we're going to need to look at the periodic table. Now, which number identifies the atom? Would it be the atomic mass or the atomic number? It's the atomic number. So we're going to find the atom that has an atomic number of 90, which is thorium. Okay? So this equation here, if I can get rid of all this extra junk, is, this is the equation for the alpha decay of uranium-238. And again, I know it's the alpha decay because it releases an alpha. Okay? Hopefully, you guys feel okay about this. It's actually not very difficult. It, I think it makes you look really smart. It feels really smart. It feels really science-y. Um, but it's actually just basic math. All right. Have a good one. I will see you tomorrow.